everyone. Thank you for tuning in and cook with April on Thirsty Thursdays. Every now and then I'm going to try and hook you guys up with a drink recipe. I'm thinking maybe once a month, but I'm not sure. But this is definitely not a weekly thing. You guys asked me in our vlogs on our April Justin TV vlogs to make the watermelon juice that I'm always making. It's so simple. It only requires two ingredients. So here's the agua fresca watermelon juice recipe. Stay tuned. So this is really simple. The agua fresca only requires two ingredients, water and watermelon. So what I did was I cut up half of a medium or even a small size watermelon and that's equivalent to about four cups. So you're going to place your watermelon with clean hands or you can scoop it if you want. So you're going to just place all that watermelon inside or actually gradually because it may or may not fit. So that's all that can fit and then I'm going to add water and then you're ready to mix. I mix I like to liquefy once it has liquefied I just like to get a little bit of crushed ice actually not a little bit kind of a lot and you're ready to pour yourself some That's agua fresca. It's going to level out. You see how it's kind of frothing in the front? It's all because of the blending, but it goes away. And then every time that you drink it, you, you're going to want to mix it because um, the watermelon water will settle down. So yeah, just mix it and enjoy. So Justin's ready to try this yummy, refreshing drink. You guys can also add sugar if you want, but I think I'm really good at picking watermelons and they're usually really sweet. So. Um, I don't want to add sugar and also the way you pick a watermelon, I knock it and do you hear that shallow sound? Let me do it again. I look for that, I look for that shallow sound when I'm looking for watermelons. It's really funny every time we go to the grocery store, I look like a crazy lady knocking on watermelons but it really works. Look for like a hollow sound. Also, I like to use mason jars for individual servings. I just pour them in mason jars. And then also what I like about mason jars is it has lids and I refrigerate them and when I want to drink it, I shake it first and then I drink it and it'll be nice and mixed together. And I also like individual sizes because I'll just grab it and drink it. But if you're having like a big party, you can put it in a pitcher. So let me go ahead and continue pouring these goodies. All right, the agua fresca is ready. Okay. Are you ready to this try so it? Yeah. It's yummy. Oh, that's so great. It's, so, it's cold, it's refreshing, perfect like summer drink, sit out on the mm -hmm. patio, sip and you know, spend time together, watch the sunset. Dang. This is a, <laughs> well, no, I mean, this is it. I think this is also a really a great like party drink to mm -hmm. put in like a big pitcher or something. It's really great, really cold, I feel like. Mm -hmm. You can add alcohol to mm -hmm. it if you want to mm -hmm. make it like a cooler or something for those adult parties. Mm -hmm. I love it. <laughs> I love it. It's my favorite drink. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, I used to not know how to make it. I was like, I love agua fresca, but I don't know how to make it. So I googled it and it requires two recipes, just watermelon and water. Mm -hmm. I saw some recipes that have like lemon, sugar, you don't need all that. You just simply need watermelon and just water. Are there other types of aqua fresca? Aqua fresca? Yeah, like there's with other fruit? Yeah, like strawberries or cantaloupes, mm -hmm. but I am a big watermelon mm -hmm. fan. So I hope you guys liked this video. Thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the very next video. Bye. Bye.